So they say it's the worst day, comparable to 9-11, but we can't have anything about showing what happened that day. How do you like them apples? You know, the left has uh, put out this false narrative that uh, the attacks on 1-6 warrant, excuse me, the, the, uh, the Capitol Hill disturbance on 1-6, January 6th. I even hate to call it 1-6 because it suggests a level of gravity that is warranted. And the left purposely uses that phraseology to compare it to 9-11. Well, obviously, they've been using that as an excuse to restrict the civil liberties of Americans, restrict the right to uh, petition your government by Congress. Try to get on, try to walk around the hill these days to petition your member of Congress. Good luck. It used to be you could walk into the office buildings and go to your member of Congress. It's pretty tough to do now. You just can't do it. It's severely restricted. And so while they're taking these steps to, quote, investigate January 6th, that now entail uh, taking the private phone records of citizens and members of Congress and the social media records of citizens and members of Congress, a radical abuse of power that I've been warning you about for uh, a few years now, ever since shifted it by taking the phone records of the president's lawyer, Rudy Giuliani, and then publishing. Now they want to do it to countless Americans and other members of Congress in addition to Devin Nunes, who was the first victim in the Giuliani um, targeting and spying operation. So what Judicial Watch is doing is that we're trying to hold Congress accountable and get the full truth about what went on on January 6th by asking for the videos from the riot, the day of the riot that have been withheld. And they have taken the position not one second of those videos should be, videos should be turned over to the American people. Now, not, I don't know about you, but we have a right to those records, I believe. We have a right under the public right of public access uh, under the excuse me the right of public access to government information. It's a common law right, as I said last week. It's a right that predates the Constitution. It's something you have simply as a citizen. And they don't want to turn over one record. And they're saying they can't, and they, you know, and all of that. They, as I as I said, they've used every every argument they could come up with. I think it was a half a dozen arguments as to why we can't see the records. And what Judicial Watch has done in response is sought discovery. So we've requested with the federal court in our case, a motion for discovery and it's our lawsuit against the US Capitol Police for emails and videos concerning the disturbance at the Capitol on January 6th. Congress, as I said, exempts itself from the Freedom of Information Act and we Judicial Watch brought this case under this common law right of public access to records, of, of access to public records. The Capitol Police declined to produce any of these records, any of them, including, as, as I said, any videos, arguing that the requested records are not public records, so it's Orwellian, and that the public interest doesn't warrant their release. So they say it's the worst day comparable to 9-11, but we can't have anything about showing what happened that day. How do you like them apples? So Judicial Watch requested the court grant its ability to gather evidence from the U.S. Capitol Police about the preservation and use specifically of the January 6th videos. Because as you may know, the government's been saying that there are 14,000 video hours, 14, 14, excuse me, 14,000 hours of video. And we can't get one second of them. This is what we wrote in the brief. Our lawyer, Michael Pekesha, I think, is running this case. The case concerns whether the public has a right of access to records about what Speaker of the House Nancy Pelosi has described as, quote, one of the darkest days in our nation's history, quote, an attack on our very democracy and an attack on the peaceful transfer of power. Speaker Pelosi has also stated it is imperative that we find the truth of that day and ensure that such an assault on our capital and democracy can not ever, ever again happen. Talk about hypocrisy, right? To find out the truth about what took place 
at the U.S. Capitol on January 6th. Now, understand how defendant United States Capitol Police and other government entities responded to them that day. Plaintiff Judicial Watch requested access to certain communications and video recordings. And we move for limited discovery to seek evidence to prove that the requested records are indeed public records subject to the common law right of access and the public's interest to disclosure outweighs the government's interest in keeping the records secret. As the Pelosi House seeks the confidential phone and social media records of countless Americans concerning January 6th, it's U.S. Capitol Police is covering up 14,000 hours of video about what really happened that day. They should be required to explain under oath its reasons for refusing to turn over even one record of the January 6th videos, excuse me, even one second of the January 6th videos to the American people. So we'll see what the court does there. You know, the Capitol Hill police, you know, the left pretends to be police, pretends to be concerned about police accountability. No, they just want to change what the police do. do. So um, they don't like law enforcement. They don't like enforcing the law against sort of property and personal crimes that the police typically handle. But if they were concerned about police accountability, why would they allow the Capitol Hill police to operate under a, a, a rubric of secrecy that no other police department in the United States of America would be allow, is allowed to operate under? Why is that? It's because it's a political police department. It's a political operation. It's a creature of Congress. It's run by politicians. And they think they should be immune from the accountability every other police department in the United States is subject to. The FBI would be subject to other law enforcement agencies run by the federal government, but Congress has its own political police force. And I use that word very carefully because it's run by politicians and answers to politicians, except with none of the accountability to the people that the politicians purport to represent. And Judicial Watch is trying to change that through our historic litigation. And again, this is where Judicial Watch is doing the heavy lifting that anyone else, everyone else can't or won't do. We had this major incident on January 6th as being used to attack Americans by the tens of millions by the Biden administration and his allies in Congress, the media and big tech. And we're the only ones in court right now suing for the details. I'm proud of the work and I encourage you to support it. Thanks for tuning in. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel to catch all the latest news from Judicial Watch.